Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back for more Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we got onto this island of Key Hall Key, Key Hall Key, starting up Chapter Five. And in this episode, we're going to save. We're going to fight these guys. But before we do that, I'm going to put on. I'm going to switch my badge. My badges around. And yeah, I can't talk. I want to put on the quick hammer badge. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm going to do this. And there you go! Fight some ember -lids. I can't roll my R's, but it's a nice way to start the battle by doing that. Makes everything easier for us. Okay, so let's just kill these guys. They're not too hard. They're pretty simple. Normal hammer hammer hammer. Yo! Yeah, you're dead! You're easy! I can't, like... Oh, there you go. I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna... Gain full health for no reason at all. Alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna gain full HP for no reason. <laughs> well, Koops had 13 HP, but... You know, finish you off. There you go, another both dead. And we got a crap ton of star points for that. Which I'm very proud of. Now that that's done, we hit this tree. Ooh, the pain of the tall. Ooh, Mario, old boy. Ugh. <coughs> I guess those blows got me a bit better than I thought. Mario, please hear my last request. I must thank you for taking me off to sea one last time. But here is one thing I need before I go on my rest. Chocola Cola. I was saving that one bottle, my last memory of Star Scarlet, to celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the flots of drifting toward the island, but so it must be somewhere. If I might have just once in before my final voyage. <laughs> Get me that Chocola Cola, old boy. Okay, so. Bobbery here wants a last request. He wants us to get Chocola Cola. Now, that is actually a reference to another game. And that game is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Because in that game, you had to find Chocola Cola to save somebody. I think someone was sick. And you had to get Chocola Cola to save that person too. But before we do that though, we want to go back over here. And you want to go in this pipe. Trust me, you're gonna wanna have to you're gonna have to do this eventually, so you might as well do this now. Um, you wanna hit this tree and get a coconut. Trust me, it's something much nicely needed for later. So now we're going to travel back to um, where they are and uh, where all the others are in the in the in the in the thing in the thing and the stuff. Okay, but before we do anything, I am going to. Dude, why are you standing in the middle of nowhere? Oh, I was trying to do something. Whatever. Well, the reason why I'm getting to fights right now is because I have I have 80 star points now. I want to level up. So in order to do that, I have to kill these guys. By doing that, I get a lot of star points for it. So he's dead. And you're dead. And one more battle should level us up, so I'm just going to show both of these fights since we're pretty much close to a level up. Dang it, I'm trying to do that, but it won't work. Okay, same, same battle. Might as well do the stylish here. There you go. Oh, Vivian, no! Don't get dizzy, I need you! Fuck! And that kills you. Wait, I didn't super guard against that though. No, don't get no, I need the FP. At least your friend's dead. Perfect, and then my attack will do just enough to kill this one. Level up. 
Yes, it will. Excellent. So I will have to do some. I want to grind off screen or anything because we're just, well off screen. I did get some star points off screen. Uh, so that's good. Okay, we're gonna increase HP. Yay, Mario has 30 HP. Hooray! Okay, let's get back now. All right, no more fighting enemies for the rest of this episode. Because I've shown, I've shown enough of these enemies. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go back to here. And what you want to do is you want to talk to Flavio. Maybe he has something that can help us out. Ah, you are still alive. Well, we have some fortune left. Such relief for Flavio. I thought some jungle beast was snacking on you. Well, everyone is accounted for. Now, wait one moment. Am I wrong or are we still missing one man short? That, that, that's right. B -b Barbary sacrificed himself to save us from the ghosts. Please, we gotta go back and help him. What lo what lunacy burst forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives? What fortitude? Mario, front and center. I entrust you with the mission to save our dear Admiral. Hmm? What's that you might say? What is that you say? Chocola Cola? Well, why would I have that? But, er, yes, by the way, Flavio's merely curious. What do you need it for? What now? The Admiral may soon perish, and he wants to drink it as his last wish? Ah, so what are we dealing with here is a sort of last request, am I correct? Well, Flavio has no choice. I found it on the beach, but for this noble cause, I yield. However, this Chocola Cola is part of my, er, I mean, our supplies, which we need to survive. So I will need you to find something to eat to replace this, or this, on this, I do not budge. Hmm, yes. I am sure there is something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. So basically, you need the coconut for to give to this guy to switch for the Chocola Cola. Aha! A coconut, is it not? Well, that is island fare, but somewhat clinched. Ah, well, perhaps I set my hopes too high for a 4 days non gourmet such as you. Well, here you go. Take the Chocola Cola and give my regards to the Admiral. I like what it says here. You got the Chocola Cola, Flavio's treasured beverage. Actually, it's Bobberies. Tell him to walk the bookcase, whistle it gently, savor all the fine fizziness. Okay, so now that that's done, we have to go all the way back to Admiral Bobbery. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Why am I not talking? Hold on. Before we do anything involving Bobbery, real quick. There's a few star pieces you can get, and I completely missed out on them. One of them is right here, and the other one should be in this bush. There you go. Okay, now I'm just gonna keep talking when we go back to Bobbery, because I have something to say. You know how I know I uploaded the video of Super Mario 64 Elimination a few days ago? Well, we recorded our first episode of it. And I get into a battle that I didn't want to fight anyway, so I am just going to run away and be proud of my effort. Oh my god! Thank you. But anyways, yeah, we recorded our first episode of the Elimination Race, and it was fantastic. Everything could have... nothing could have went wrong there. Oh, god damn it. It's that fuzzy that's in the way, really. That's what's getting me right now. Fuzzy, you appear in the most random and awkward position. Like, come on now. Why are you being so stupid? Okay. But anyways, it was great. We had all lots of fun. Unfortunately, someone was eliminated in the race, like just like any other episode. Any, every episode of the uh, race will be. Someone's going to be eliminated. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil who got eliminated, but yeah. Okay, now that we have the Chocola Cola, talk to Bobbery and give it to him. <laughs> Out of the sifted bouquet, you, you bought it. <laughs> this glorious flavor, dear boy, it awakens the mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver this one last grace, eh? I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting my last wish. Now I shall be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. Uh, 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 what, what, what? Yippity, yippity. Pirate! Where are the pirates? Not kind with you, huh? What now? Oh, Mario, oh boy, it's you. You have adventures in the afterlife as well? Hey, you're still alive, you nutcase! <laughs> ah, hmm, yes, well, really? 
This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors. All oh, right. Now I recall, Mario, old boy, we still have work to do. You better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure my sea legs and explosive personality will be rather useful, eh? And with this being said, we get Barbary join the party! Bobbery is the villain is a primer! Basically the same thing as Bombette in the first game. Press X to make Bobbery explode and press X again to release it. So basically it's the exact same thing as Bo as Bombette from the first game, except this time he can go on ledges and stuff, you know, it's all the same stuff. Okay, but Bobbery is actually a lot more useful than Bombette was in the first game. I will show a battle and I'll get into that in just why that is in just a moment when we get to another fight. Because Bobbery, he he has the same abilities as Bombette, but Bobbery is a lot better than Bombette. They made a huge improvement on him, and I'm going to show off why in just a second after I switch to Bobbery. Okay, Bobbery, you have a lot of HP and not even, a, not even upgraded. Bobbery, he's awesome because he has the bomb ability as the first ability and not like body slam or something. So it's pretty cool. Um, his other ability is, uh, oh, uh, what was it? What the frick was it called? Bomb Squad. Basically you press A with good timing and these will explode in the next turn depending on where they're located and they can hit enemies depending on their location. But of course it's not that useful and of course you won't really see me using Bobbery as much because of the fact that I like party members that are multi-targeting such as Koops and uh, Vivian. And stop getting into battles! I got things to do here! Ugh, my goodness! Just I'm just gonna run away! I don't care about any battles right now! Jeez! Okay, let's go! Oh man, I'm sorry, but the bat and the fights here are so much- Nope! Should be another one. Yep! I'm not fighting any of you! You guys are- ju You guys are not nice people. But anyways, we want to go back and talk to Flavio with Bobbery. Ah, it is Bobbery! Welcome back to you! Do you know how worried we were? My stomach has been the most upset! I must worry about everyone here, but who worries for Flavio? No one! Do you know how hard that is for me to sit here in safely, safety and worry so much? I do not know what is out there We're waiting to lurk and snack on me. We do not even know how to get home for the sake of the blue briny sea! But no more yelling, now is the time to pull together and work as a team! Flavio, old boy, I must say, you talk about it too much. Such insolence, grrr, I growl at you like an angry jungle beast, I ought to! So in any case, Mario, about the crystal star you spoke of earlier. There was a rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. Call it all old T Bond's intuition, but that skull rock smells suspicious. Hey, 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 Barbara, you wanna know what really smells suspicious? Flavio's on it. Oh, he smells like blue time. What seriously? You might be on the summit with that skull rock. I say that's where the treasure is. Well, anyone can figure that out, you minus joker. I mean, how obvious. I was already saying in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the normal duty of protecting this camp from invasion. Captain Mari, carry on. I am sorry to make so many requests, but you know. Flavio, you old gash, cash grubber. If you want treasure, why don't you go and get it yourself? Oh, well, yes, I'm um, Admiral. You see, I... Well, yes, you have a point. Let's decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along to investigate the Skull Rock? Oh, heck yes, yeah. Take them, please. Have fun with their jerk. Off with you. There you have it, Flavio, fair and square. Well, one now. Um, no, not fair. Flavio hates you all. <laughs> Flavio will join you for a short time. Okay, now that I, you know what's kind of funny? Look at when we ride are so happy. <laughs> I just think that's so funny because our little baby Yoshi, who just hatched after the third chapter. I mean, look all uh, all much weight he's carrying. He's carrying a fat plumber and a really loopy pirate slash guy. Like that's like that must hurt his bones. I'm telling you. Oh, just get away. I do not want to fight any enemies. And you're still there, fuzzy. Like how can he flutter jump with that? With these with these people on him. I don't understand, but anyways, we need to go all the way back over here again. 
Who would have thought, right? You have to go all the way back over here, all over again, right? Back this chapter, it, it has some backtracking, but it's not much. It, I think the backtracking stops after this point in the game, so it's okay. What we need to do is we need to go up here. Ah, now what is all this? A dead end taunting Flavia with its dead endness. But hmm, is this? I think this is a skull rock Bobby blabbered about. Well, it, posit it positively breaks of ancient secrets. Yes, let's plunge into this puzzle. Let's examine this. A large stone blocks the way. It seems to be carved into the shape of a skull. There is a pe there is a space in one of the eyes where you can conceivably place something. Hey, Gonzalez, doesn't Flavia have a gem that might fit in that eye hole? Uh, he might. The skull gem might work. But let's talk to him. Skull Captain casts his gaze. Red jewel shines in place. Boom, bust a boom festival. The Stash Brothers, best of friends, three times red. Stash lands on his end. Blue Stash belly, four times as wax. So let's hear those fireworks go boom! At the boom, bust a boom festival. I am just singing to while away the time, and it's not like Flavio's scared or anything. But do you know something? I have never been able to know that song's meaning. What is it you asking me? You want Flavio to lend you something? Is this correct? Now, what could I possibly have that you would need with such anxiousness? The skull gem, of course. What? You want me to lend you the skull gem? You really, really need it? This is the heirloom of the house of Flavio, you know. But I suppose it's alright, because I am Flavio. He is of ludicrous wealth. I am just lending it, though. Do not dare run off with it. Do not make me not pay. And we got the skull gem. So basically, now that we have the skull gem, we put it in here. And these little things. What do these things do? Well, let's talk to Flavio again. Now, now, do not worry about Flavio. Just run along and find that treasure. Me, 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 me. The Spanish brothers, best of friends. Th three times red stash lands on its end. Blue stash belly four times as wax, so let's hear the fires go boom. Basically, what he means by that is you have to ground pound this three times. And you need to hit this thing four times. And with that being said, it opens up something special. You see that bomb little icon on the top? Well, it's going to open up something. Like that. So now that that's done, we want to switch to Bobbery. And you want to throw him up here. To explode. And it opens a cave. Oh, such excitement, the cave entrance. Hmm? Huh? What? Ah, my skull gem. But Mario, what are you thinking? That gem was part of a house of Flavio. There's a stupid gem. Shut up, Flavio. No one likes you. Phew! Oh, what a happy day. I have my skull gem back. My jolliness has no end. Now then, I'm sure you all are disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. I cannot let, let those back at the camp worry about me either. You two understand, yes? So, let me know when you find that glittery treasure, alright? Okay, so... Now that that's done, I'm gonna heal up real quick right here. And, we're gonna go inside that cave, but it, I think, yeah. We're just gonna go through here. Month, star, day, stuff. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers enter the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. Anyways, welcome to the Pirate's Grotto, the next dungeon of the game in this chapter. So, I think, at that point, I think I'm going to end this video off here. So, next time on Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, we will start this, the Pirate's Grotto, the next dungeon in the game, alright? I think I will see you guys next time.